not all fish start out in the wild. These fish came from the state fishing hatchery in Sandwich, Massachusetts, also known as a fish farm. They bring the fertilized eggs into here, into this hatch house. Then the fish are gradually moved into bigger and bigger quarters as they grow before they're finally moved outside uh, to grow up to catchable size. Fisheries manager Steve Hurley helps transport the fish to their final destinations, ponds and streams across the state. They're raised till about 12 inches long and they're put into the ponds and streams for anglers uh, to catch. Hurley and his team first prepare a truck with two containers of groundwater. Then they scoop out the fish, record their weight to calculate how many fish there are, 35. and put them on the truck for transport. Once all of the fish are on the truck, they are ready to make their way into the wild. You ready? These farm-raised fish make good catch for anglers, but they also help protect the wild trout already living in those waters. The wild trout resource has been greatly decimated and it couldn't supply the demand for trout fishing among the angling public here in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. So we're forced to uh, raise trout in hatcheries to supply that demand, but that also helps protect our few remaining wild trout fisheries since the effort is focused primarily on ponds to go trout fishing now instead of the few remaining wild trout streams. But the success of both fishing and protecting wild trout all depends on the water. It all comes down to the habitat for fish. Anything that affects the water quality, uh, you know, litter is a huge problem. I see it all the time. So it's very important to, you know, be aware of what impact you are having on the environment. And that awareness starts with getting outside. That's the important thing is, you know, people that first of all, to get out there, enjoy the outdoors, uh, enjoy being outside and catching fish. And then the more people get exposed to that, the more they can realize that, you know, they can take actions on their own part to improve the habitat for fisheries and wildlife. Because in the long run, it all comes down to the habitat for these species. From Sandwich, Massachusetts, Sophia Giordano, WEBN News.